Hey guys, Ken Carlson here with Country Guitar Chops. And what I want to show you on this lesson is a lick that Vince Gill plays on his live version of Oklahoma Borderline. If you're familiar with my website, countryguitarchops.com, uh, you'll know I have what I call the song series in addition to a bunch of other instructional videos. Uh, I have what I call the song series and I teach you how to play the, the guitar parts and other parts as, uh, you know, I'll improvise over steel, fiddle parts, what have you. Uh, over over songs. It's an ever-growing library there. So if you've already got this lesson, uh, you're still going to want to watch this because I'm going to show you how how to take a lick that Vince played on on that song and expand on it, you know, give you a couple more ideas on how to play it. So I'm going to go ahead and play the uh, this little lick for you here to a little jam track and then we'll uh, we'll break it down. <laughs> All right, so there's the lick. It's a chordal idea, uh, chordal meaning you know we're playing out of chord shapes on that, and it was over a C and then back to the G. The the song is in the key of G, and we hang on that C for like if we were to count it one two three four one two three four, it'd be like eight measures. So anyway, here's what he's playing on that over the C chord. Let's say C seven. So we slide into that D string, doesn't matter where, just pick, slide up to the eighth fret, and then you're going to double stop strings two and three at the fifth fret. Okay. Now I need to move my ring finger out of the way for this once I come down here and pluck these, because uh, if I don't, when I do this pull-off part here, my, this finger lays down and mutes the string. Okay, so it's pick, slide, double stop, pulling the ring finger away, and then you pull off on the G string. So just kind of twist your finger down, and you want you want the B string to keep ringing like that. That's the that's the whole lick right there, and he just keeps repeating it using the same syncopation. And so when I worked this up, it was a little confusing at first because it seems to want to get off time, uh, and then it comes back around again. So it took me a few times to play it uh, to keep it you know keep the syncopation going the way he plays it. You know, versus other ways that you would syncopate that to where it uh, continually, uh, you would repeat the, uh, at the beginning of each measure, you would play the same thing, like this, for example. And that's a lot easier to play that because it's a one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay. Uh, let me show you how we did, how I changed that too. I'm starting down here on the double stops this time and hitting them twice with the pull off, pull off, okay, and then repeat it. All right. So that one there. You know, it just starts out the same every measure, so it's not as confusing as the other as as the way Vince played it. But that's just one of the you know many ways you could syncopate it different. Okay, so let's look at the G chord. When he went to the G chord, all he did was he played a G seven chord shape. So it's, you know, here's our C seven to play a G seven. Come up here one fret, so I'm on the ninth, seven, and six and pull off again that G string. So you're pulling off the middle finger. This time I can leave my ring finger down because it clears. Okay, going back to the C chord, I forgot to mention that on the last time around on that, this would be like the eighth the eighth measure, you would start that off with a uh, 
coming up here, and I, ab I abandoned the double stop idea for this one. Okay, so I just picked the G string here at the seventh fret instead of the fifth, and then back down here. So let me play the last two bars of that, uh, of the uh, C chord. Let's try that again. Pick that up here, and then back to the other one. All right, so there's one idea, a different way to syncopate that. And there's other ways to do that. I could start by going uh, one, two, one, two, uh, and then fall back into the starting here. So it would sound like this. Okay, so the first measure was the other, the uh, the way Vince played it, and then I fell into the the second idea there. All right, so what I'm going to do for you now is play a, another jam track, and what I'm going to do the jam track is going to be one bar over the G, one bar over the C, back to the G, to a D. Then we're going to go back to the G, C, and then it's going to be a half a bar on the G, half a bar on the D, and ending it, okay? I'll play it, and then we'll break this one down. Okay, so hopefully you're starting to get an idea of what you can do with that by expanding on that lick. I played my G, starting on the G just like we did, playing it the way that Vince played it. To my C, you drop it down. Back to my G. Now, to go to the D chord, all I did was take the C chord shape, move it up two frets. So I'm on 10, 7, and 7. I almost missed that one. In fact, I did miss it. Um, going back to the G, now I changed the syncopation up. I did the... Uh, okay, I did the two double stops on, on here. Hit that twice around, you know, went around that twice, and then went to my C chord. Okay, so now back to the G. Well, I came down here and played a G chord shape, like, you know, the bar chord, and I'm again pulling off that middle, the G string, the middle finger. Remember, this was only for a half a measure on this one. One, two, down to my D. Okay, well, let's take that, what we played over the G chord. That's actually a D7 chord shape, by the way, if you didn't know. And um, here's my D7 chord shape with a, what I call a third in the bass. So I'm gonna play here at the fourth fret, second and first, a bit of a stretch. Pulling off again that G string. Those two together, G and the D. Uh, again, again, I'm syncopating it different each time. And then back to the G, I did an ending lick. Uh, so I'm here on the G string, third fret, pull off, pull off. Down to the third fret of the D, open G string, back here, pull off, first to the second, and then out. Again from the G. All right, I'll play the whole thing again for you to the jam track.
Okay, so hopefully I gave you some ideas here on how you can expand on your licks. You know, all these songs that you learn, every lick you learn, this is what you should be doing, experimenting with them and coming up with other ways to play them. Hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next lesson. <laughs>